Hey there, Sharon Rios. We are welcome to the 2078 of what you have to now documenting the journey. Originally, as I originally as I transitioned from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business, and back and forth again since 2020 for sure. During the pandemic, I was like, "Yeah, this is crazy. We need to figure out what we're going to do." And that's when I started the Get Up and Go Challenge. And I've been doing challenges for decades, personal challenges prior to that. But I started doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a 30 plus day challenge every other month during 2020 and 2021 to keep myself going, but to keep other people going and motivated and moving forward, no matter what kind of craziness is going on around us, we always have to figure out how are we going to keep moving and do what it is that we want to do and get what we want to get and achieve what we want to achieve in the world. And today, our idiom for supersize your business, I share a business idiom in supersize your business every day, it isn't necessarily a business idiom, but I find a way to tie it to how could you use it? What does it mean to you? How could you use it to grow and build and your business and, and show up the way you want to in the world. And this month's Get Your Goals Annual Challenge is your annual challenge is all about it, getting our goals and objectives. And I am breaking that down and sharing it according to a life framework that I've used for decades with the exception of confidence and communication. I added those in 2021 uh, as part of the Every Other Month Challenge because they were areas that I was personally working on and coaching on and, and helping other people with. And so I'm like, well, if I'm learning it and sharing it, why, would, why wouldn't I share it with other people? So I added it to my personal life framework. And so now instead of having a seven part life framework, I have a nine part life framework. Does it make a huge difference? No, but they're core skills that I know if I improve my confidence, if I improve my ability to communicate, that positively impacts all the other areas and aspects of my life, right? It helps my relationships, my ability to earn, my financial well-being and health, my spiritual, my uh, physical, my mental, all areas and aspects of my life. So today our idiom was get in on the act. And I wanted to use the Barbie filter, but of course today, the one day I think, okay, that's something I could use it for. And it sort of fits because people are getting in on the big Barbie boom and craze since the popularity of the movie. I think it's up to $2 billion or something in the box office. I don't know, crazy. My son told me it was up to a billion and I was like, wow. And now it's, it's how long surpassed that who knows how many billions of dollars in merchandising and things will be sold along with that movie so it goes to show you that you can create one thing and has a huge ripple effect on the rest of the economy but this idiom means jumping in on and joining in on something that someone else started that's already in progress so we see this a lot nowadays uh with the internet with social media people will take viral videos or videos that other people have created that have gone viral and they'll attach their message to it and share it around the internet. Uh, you see the same quote posts going around and around and around the internet. Um, that's an example of getting in on the act. The idioms uh, from the late 19th, early 20th century. It comes from show business and theater where people would want to get into the show that was already started or written or created by someone else or get into the performance. I think of vaudeville acts traveling around and that people would want to get in on that show or that act to gain notoriety and popularity. People do the same thing with their businesses and with their lives, especially on social media with influencers and things. People join up forces with other influencers. They actually pay influencers to promote their stuff so that they can ride on the bandwagon or get in on the act of um, someone else's popularity, something that someone else has already created. So our topic today for the Get Your Goals Annual Challenge, we're focusing on contribution this month. All this month, we're focusing on how do we make a difference? Why are we here? How do we show up in the world? Are we an example or a warning, et cetera? And today's topic is our contribution core values. What is What three things are most important to us when it comes to how we show up in the world? Mine would be, uh, I, I haven't done mine yet, so I don't. I guess I haven't shared what mine would be or what mine are, uh, but I'll do that exercise today too. I'll, I'll, Think of all the different core values and things that are important to me with respect to the area of contribution and i'll pick my top three and share them uh, monday here in my neck of the woods big week this week every, every week seems like a big week but i'm getting ready for a uh, a really fun project coming up so if i can help you anyway ask otherwise i'll be with you tomorrow have an awesome day